Some experts expect shortage of fresh water to be a cause of future conflicts. That is why this video explains the availability of fresh water using the water balance. The water balance is the inflow to any water system or area and is equal to its outflows plus change in storage. There is a certain amount of water in an area which is stored, for example in the groundwater or in lakes. New water can be supplied when it rains or when rivers supply water. At the same time water disappears again when the water evaporates or when rivers take the water with them again. If the inflow equals the outflow, then there is a balance. The amount of water in the area then remains the same. If more water is added than is drained away, flooding can occur, for example if it drains very hard. If the outflow exceeds the inflow, a water shortage can occur. Climate change is making it warmer, causing evaporation to increase in some areas. It can also be become drier due to climate change. As a result, water inflow is reduced and outflow is increased, which can lead to a water shortage. Humans also influence the water balance. By using a lot of water, less water is available for nature. For example, a lot of water is used for irrigation of agricultural areas, by industry and by households. By using a lot of water, it is possible that the water balance is not in balance and a shortage rises. This can be solved by pumping up water from deep rock layers. This is different from groundwater because it originated a long time ago and is therefore called fossil water. Because there is no inflow in this type of water, it will eventually run out. The use of fossil water is therefore not sustainable for future generations. In short, the water balance shows the ratio between the supply and discharge of water in an area and when the water use is not sustainable.